There are a couple of main reasons I started uh, shooting sports. Um, first, my grandsons reached high school age and were very much involved in football particularly. And I live in an area where there was almost no photographic coverage of sporting events. So it was a real opportunity to uh, get involved and to, to make contributions to the community. I'm Terry Futrell, a high school sports photographer in a rural county in East Tennessee. One of the challenges I've had to deal with is uh, my partial color blindness. Uh, for me, it, it can be a problem, but I find others to help me w when I need it, such as when I'm setting up the white balance on the camera or when I'm post-processing, I'll get my wife's assistance. Most of my sports shooting has been in a small rural county in Tennessee, which has four high schools uh, with a total population in the county of less than 20,000 and uh, has two small weekly newspapers that run some photographs, but there hasn't been a lot of good photographic coverage of sports in the area. So. Uh, when I began this and, and just started taking lots and lots of photos and making those available to parents and the, the players and other fans, it's had a tremendous impact and uh, it, it's, it's almost as if it's exploded in terms of how many people are now following. Um, just during the past month, we had a reach on Facebook of uh, about 27,000 with about 35,000 engagements just looking at the photographs. And uh, uh, I get comments from parents and from students all the time. I can even walk into a gymnasium and the student cheering section starts chanting my name. That's how significant these photographs have become to them. Small communities are special places. We always try and teach our student athletes that when they graduate to come and give back to the community. I think that's one thing that Terry is a prime example of for the kids to see and to, to witness is for a, someone to come back and give back to the community. Just the fact that he's been a, a good role model and, uh, and be able to influence them off the field uh, to be good people and make good decisions and you know and carry on in life what we all hope for is to have uh, productive kids you know make it in society as they when they mature and become adults when i shoot sports i i focus on high action activities uh, that's why i shoot basketball from behind the basket there i see players flying through the air towards the basket and i get some of my best most favorite shots like that in football, I try to position myself so that I can uh, get a good shot of, of receivers going high in the air to catch passes and things like that. So uh, it's uh, the more exciting the play is, uh, the more interested I am in trying to capture it because those are really my favorites and they seem to be the fan favorites as well. Terry captures a lot of action shots and it's, I think it's incredible to see what it comes to the camera and how he takes them and the facial the motion that is through the camera that you don't see during the games. I think it's awesome. Terry's just a wonderful person. I didn't really know Terry until he started taking pictures, but I've got to know Terry a lot and he's helped me. He's inspired me and motivated me to be a better person. Yeah. My sports photography, while it's been a hobby, has been a very serious hobby. Over the past four years, I have shot more than 260 events. Uh, high school basketball, football, volleyball, baseball, softball, all of those. Altogether, uh, that's probably been uh, 2,500 to 3,000 hours of effort. All of my sports photography has been focused on really highlighting the sports activities of these kids to the community as a whole. And what is one of the 
smallest, uh, poorest counties in the state. And uh, sporting events there are, are, are really the highlight of the social activities in this, these communities. And uh, so I make the, the photos available uh, on the internet for everyone to access, the high, full high resolution versions. I've teamed up with a few other photographers. We established uh, Faith Sports Photography on Facebook, uh, where people can go to access all of our photos. And uh, the impact on the community as a whole has just been tremendous.